Hey there, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to October. Yeah, I hope this message is finding you well. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined, if you haven't done so already. Uh, please keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading. Yeah, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Could be speaking to a cross watcher here. Just place it in your life as it fits. Also, this is coming through for the month of October, but it doesn't absolutely have to resonate for you at that time, whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, and that's the message for you in that moment. Yeah, Cancer? Alrighty, I'm reading of this. Two more shuffles now. For my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what's going on? What messages do we have for Cancer at this time? For Cancer at this time. Um, I Cancer, I just feel like you're in a really happy place in this moment. Feels good. Let's see what we've got for you. Okay. Ooh. This feels like it's a relationship. It has something to do with a relationship, love and romance. You have the Page of Cups here with the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Cups. And then overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups. That's interesting. Um, a past energy coming out of the past somehow. This does feel like it's a relationship. I feel like it's a rekindling of a relationship. Uh, I heard, I just heard taking ownership of the circumstances and then making a name for yourself. That's interesting. Um, I don't know about the making a name for yourself part, uh, but uh, that could apply. It could be, it could resonate for you. So take it as it resonates. Um, okay. Thank you. What they just, what Spirit just said was making a name for yourself, but in terms of love and commitment and maybe even marriage. So we have a relationship here that seems to be starting over but from new ground, from a deeper understanding of each other and or the circumstances at hand. There was some sort of reconciliation and or apology that has been made or that is about to be made, Page of Cups, and in time or, 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 or well, okay, in time or over time, you have been able to see maybe where you went wrong or how the situation could be fixed and or changed or how you could change the nature of the harvest that you look to receive um, in this circumstance or in this relationship, okay? Seven of Pentacles. And then with the King of Cups here, this is, an, this is the energy of taking ownership, taking up the charge, saying, I will do better. There was, there was something that happened here that could have very well spelled the end of this relationship. Overall energy is the Five of Cups. But understand that the Five of Cups is never always that bad because all is never lost with this energy. As you can see, yes, three cups have spilled out, but there are two, still two cups standing behind this person. He's just not focused on it right now in the moment. But the cups, even though, regardless as to whether he's focused on it or not, the cups are still standing there, okay? Um, so what this is saying to me is that, yes, there may have been some sort of falling out, or we'll just say there was some sort of crisis in this relationship that very well could have spend, spelled the end of it all together. But it looks like through clarity here, yeah, look at this, okay, underneath the Five of Cups is the King of Swords. Clarity honesty truth integrity even but be and also a level of objectivity and taking ownership and or responsibility for whatever and then underneath the king of swords is the eight of pentacles doing the work wanting to do the work and then underneath the king of eight of pentacles is the queen of cups so now we have the king and the queen of cups showing up here all right man and woman masculine and feminine two men two women doesn't matter one plays the masculine role, one plays the feminine role, or you're just counterparts here. And then underneath the Queen of Cups is the Wheel of Fortune. So, um, I did just hear an apology is necessary. 
or it was necessary, it has been necessary. I'm looking at that Queen of Cups energy and um, I get this feeling, the sense that there was, there, there was someone needed to be apologized to. Someone needed to take ownership of their actions in this relationship that caused difficulty, strife. It caused tension and stress and potentially the end of the relationship. There could have been some sort of third party influence, whether that be another man or another woman or that just be friends or family that were, you know, sticking their noses and their fingers where they don't belong, blah, 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 but not whatever. Definitely picking up on for somebody here or for some of you here in this situation, there definitely could have been some sort of third party influence. But that influence seems to be out of the way. What all that matters here are the people that are in the relationship and how they feel about each other and what it is they're willing to do to get the relationship off the ground or to keep it to keep it going. And it seems that you guys are choosing each other over some external influence. And that's beautiful. That's great. All right, let's clarify. I wanna clarify this page of cups here. So Spirit just took me back to the phrase that they, that they said, um, an apology either is or was necessary here. So maybe for some of you, you haven't gotten to that point yet where you've talked about it or where you've reconciled or where the apology has been sent. So for somebody here, the message is an apology is necessary. And this is not just to appease someone. This is not just to kowtow to someone. This is literally like, shit, I'm sorry. Taking ownership, okay, of your actions, taking responsibility for your actions or someone doing that. Page of Cups. What's this Page of Cups energy for cancer? Ooh, ooh. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Oh, 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 oh. Now the truth comes out. And the world. Okay, yeah. Overall energy is the Four of Cups. I'm not going to speak in absolutes. There's obviously, there's definitely a, a um, There's definitely a chance that this relationship may end completely. There is. And the, the, the main thing that I'm getting that from is this Four of Cups here. But actually, in looking at this Four of Cups, what I'm actually feeling here, Cancer, and now keep in mind, remember, we're clarifying the Page of Cups and this Page of Cups represents that reconciliation. What we have here is a situation where there were two, there were two other feminine energies in, involved here. And the Queen of Pentacles feels like the person that you've been dealing with this whole time. The person you may even want to make a commitment to now at this point. Remember I did here making a name for yourself in terms of commitment, either commitment or, and or marriage, right? That's this, definitely this Queen of Pentacles energy. And this is the person that you've been in this long-standing situation ship with. This is the person that would need to be apologized to. Same as the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Wands is the third party influence. Is the other woman or the other man or the friend or family member that's been conniving and spiteful, I'm hearing. Sticking their nose where it doesn't belong, right? For her own egoic, for their own, excuse me, because it still could be a man but for their own egoic, selfish reasons. I feel, I get an energy from this Queen of Wands of like, this is a person that just likes to stir the pot. You know, shake shit up, cause a little drama here and there, fan the fire a little bit, or a lot of it, and then like run away or act like they don't know, they don't know what's going on. They had no idea. I'm not involved. Why, little old me, oh, why would I get involved in that? I don't know, bitch, why? Let's look at your history. Okay, fine. We don't have, we're not going to go there. But this, this, feels, this feels like someone, this Queen of Wands energy feels like someone who is maybe even lacking in integrity. 
I, I don't really feel like they give a damn. They do what it is they want to do. They go where it is they want to go. They get what they want, regardless of whoever else may be involved or whoever else may be hurt by it, right? Okay. Now, it doesn't have to be all that bad. That's just for some. For others of you, I'm looking at this Queen of Wands and I'm like, I'm just thinking, well, actually, I don't even necessarily really want to demonize this person. They just may be someone that was really hot and passionate at the time and shit popped off and oops, now we've got, a, now we've got trouble. But this situation is coming to an end because you have this with the world. So there is an apology that is being made or there is some sort of recognition, recognition being brought to the fact that, yeah, there was someone else. But that someone else, Queen of Wands, it's just passion, it's just fire, it's, maybe it's just sex. It's no real commitment. The co real commitment lies with the Queen of Pentacles. And this overall energy of the Four of Cups is not necessarily, not necessarily rejection of this Ace of Cups or this uh, desire to reconcile. It's more indicative of the fact that this person here, who actually kind of feels like the King of Cups here, um, this person who ne is the person that needs to reckon that needs to apologize. This person was more focused on what's going on with this Three of Cups energy, this third party influence, while we'll say the Queen of Pentacles slash Queen of Cups was over here offering a real cup of love. And homeboy and homegirl or homegirl over here was like, nah, I don't want to take that. Uh, I, don't, mm, I, don't, uh, I don't know. I feel like the grass might be greener on the other side. And then they went to the other side and found out that grass ain't shit or taking a little trip over onto that other side really helped this person understand the value of what was being offered to them all along underneath the four of cups is the ace of swords to the king of pentacles to the ten of cups y'all y'all love is winning here okay but also what I want to say is someone is, has really grown up, matured. And maybe, maybe it's not so malicious. Maybe this is just a matter of this person didn't really even know or understand what it is they wanted. I definitely feel a strong energy here, a heavy level of don't know what you've got till it's gone. Okay. All right. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles then. Seven of Pentacles for Cancer, please. The Chariot. That's a good thing. No, oh, the Knight of Wands. That's a good thing too. And the Queen of Cups. Overall energy is the Ace of Wands. So Cancer, you're showing up here officially the chariot represents your energy here. And then also you have this queen of cups, which would technically represent your energy as well if we're being specific with the court cards. Because the court cards could really represent any water sign, right? But specifically speaking, the queens are the cardinal signs. So in water, that would be cancer. What I'm getting from this is that the cancerian or the feminine in this situation is gung-ho about this, is willing to forgive. So long as the proper things happen to make this relationship salvageable or this harvest salvageable, provided that we do what's necessary to rebuild this relationship or to start over in a, in a, in a fresh way, taking everything that we've learned with us up until this point and applying it to the relationship from here on out, the chariot, then this person is on board. The Knight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles is under that. But there have to be boundaries. And we've got to hold them. We've got to stand our ground. We've got to stick to our guns here. If we're really going to do this, then don't, don't, don't sit here and blow smoke up my ass, right? And then all of a sudden turn around and next thing you know, we're fizzled, fizzled out. We're right back to where we started. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. That, that ain't going to work. We ain't going to do that. 
But I will say, and I do feel like this is mostly for the Cancerian, if it's the Cancerian that needs to be apologized to. But also this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates, so it doesn't necessarily have to be the Cancerian, but there is somebody here in this relationship if, in which all they need is an apology. All they need is for homeboy, whomever this is, the King of Cups, to step up to the plate and say and admit that they were wrong or admit or take responsibility for their part in the situation. Okay, nobody here is innocent. So I'm not gonna say that this Queen of Cups didn't also have her own negative involvement here. Maybe she was too enabling. I don't know, it doesn't matter. That's what just came to mind, but okay. So, 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 but really what is necessary for this relationship to, to be brought back to life, what's necessary is to just take responsibility, own up, and then resolve and promise and commit to doing better. But I feel like there is going to be some sort of commitment that's going to come out of this moving forward. And it doesn't even really feel like it's a, it's a, it's a necessity. I f it's not like someone is saying to you or someone is saying here necessarily saying, well, giving the, giving an ultimatum of I want commitment or nothing else. I feel like this is a natural progression. It's just going to happen naturally. It's not going to be something where someone feels forced into it. You know what I mean? And maybe or maybe that is a requirement. But if that is a requirement, it feels like both individuals want it are willingly going into it. I don't feel like any sort of ultimatum being given and someone is reluctant to, no. I feel like a commitment is a natural next step here or a greater commitment than what you had in the past. And that also feels like cancer. It's a greater commitment than what you had in the past because now there's a much more stable and firm foundation, okay? All right, let's clarify this King of Cups. King of Cups for cancer, please. Five of Swords, yeah. Death, Scorpio energy, all right? I was picking up on that because the King of Cups would represent Scorpio, technically, officially, right? If we're being specific with the court cards. And now we do have the Death card here, which is, an, again, more Scorpio. So this could be, you could have a Cancer and Scorpio placement. This could be a pairing between a Cancer and a Scorpio somehow, all right? Okay, yeah, there is one more card. And strength. Also Leo. But then we also have the Empress. And actually, the Empress showed herself um, while I was clarifying the Seven of Pentacles where I was pulling from the bottom of the deck and ultimately I got to the King of Pentacles. Well, the King of Pentacles came out and then the Ten of Cups came out. And then underneath the Ten of Cups was the Empress. And what I was picking up on that is fertility. This... Empress energy feels like a blessing, a blessing of fertility, fruitfulness, okay? This could, and this could really result in, I feel like someone actually, someone might get pregnant soon. And maybe, maybe the pregnancy is actually what catalyzes this apology, this reconciliation, which catalyzes this which could very well be the reason why the a very natural progression it feels like here is commitment because now there's a child involved. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But it also could be this commitment brings about the fertility to start a family or have a child like have a child or just have an abundant relationship from here on out. This Empress energy, oh my God, you guys. The Empress underneath the Empress is the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. This, this literally feels like a boon, a blessing of abundance, okay? Now, clarifying this King of Cups here, we have the Five of Swords, Death, and Strength. So this is literally speaking to or reiterating what I picked up on of all homeboy here, the King of Cups, whomever this King of Cups is, whomever this represents for you in your situation, all this person has to do is just own up. Drop the charade. Drop this energy, the Five of Swords. 
of maybe trying to get away with something or trying to be sneaky or this this five of swords feels like someone being acting in ways to preserve to keep from having to tell the truth keep from having to own up for to what they for own up to their actions and this may have been what this person was doing all along and it may have and this okay so this feels like trying to preserve some level of being able to associate with this third party energy that I was picking up on earlier and they may have gotten their way but look at where it ended it, 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 look at where it ended up look at how it look at what it resulted in it resulted in potentially or actually having lost something that was really, really beautiful. Someone that you really, really, or they really, truly loved and ultimately now they're seeing they would want to commit to. So yeah, you got your way or they got what they wanted, but to, at what cost? That's exactly what this card represents. But you see here, going from that, we now have death. Transformation to strength. Losing or transforming out of that egoic sense that had them in this destructive, selfish, combative energy. That's all this King of Cups has to do. Release, release this, the Five of Swords, release the ego, tame the ego, right? Give it the love and the care, the attention that it needs, but also keep it in check. And that's doing something that is not easy to do, but you know is the right thing to do. That's absolutely what the King of Cups stands for here, okay? Beautiful, Cancer. Let's get your closing message. Closing message for Cancer, please. Oop. Ace of Wands again. Let me tell you something. Somebody might be getting pregnant. Oh, and or the makeup sex could probably be the best ever. But also the Ace of Wands here would be that inspiration, having that inspiration to move forward in this new way. Seven of Wands. Closing message for Cancer, please. Okay. Overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles. There you go, Cancer. There's that commitment. There's the new seed that can be planted that can literally become a baby or just become the new life of this relationship. All right? Aces. So many aces. You had the Ace of Swords at one point. You had the Ace of Wands has come out twice. Ace of Pentacles has come out twice. Brand new start. Say hi, Noah. Hi. <laughs> um, but see, here's the thing. Cancer, I, I unplugged that because it's done and it's delicious. Here's the thing, Cancer. It's not necessarily going to be smooth sailing from here on out. I really feel like you might act to end up getting a, a, a good deal of resistance from these third-party influences. You're going to have to stand your ground. Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands. Remember, Cancer, it's your decision to do this with your person. Nobody else has the right to tell you yay or nay. They may look at you six ways sideways like, why the hell are you getting back? Why are you doing that with that person? Didn't they just do X, Y, and Z? And it's like, yeah, but that's different. Or no, yeah, but we've overcome that. We've resolved to overcome that. And they may still look at you like you're, like you've got six heads, but you know what? It's none of their business, right? Stand your ground. You do have the tower then with the nine of wands. You're gonna wanna just push through. But also the tower and the nine of wands could represent the destruction of the old and getting geared up to move forward with the new, okay? Perseverance is key. It's not gonna be easy. Not gonna be easy. But I do feel like it's going to be worth it in the end for you, Cancer. All right? Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Noah's making faces at me. <laughs> um, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below, skis. And I love you. I hope you have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>